Oh, hi guys, how you doing? I was just watching Good Mythical Morning, but it is like 2 in the morning. Technically it's morning. This episode is from January 17th of 2022. And I and it, it's making me think of something that I've noticed an uptick in lately. I've noticed a lot of these little teeny bopper influencers that make thousands of dollars by going, Hey guys, just got this new mascara. Go buy it. Tell them I sent ya. And you'll get a, a free macaroon at the door. And then in the next video, they're like, Guys, remember, always follow your dreams. You'll be much happier in life if you follow your dreams. Shut up! Shut the fuck up, okay? I'm not saying this because they're young. I'm not saying this because I'm jealous of their success, okay? I'm saying this because it's a person who had a once-in-a-lifetime a, a once opportunity to work for them. And because most of them either started out young and they're older, or they are still young, they have never worked a real, physically laborious, 8-hour, 12-hour, 16-hour fucking shift or job in their life. Do I think that everyone should be killing themselves just to make a fucking decent wage? No. Not what I'm saying. Don't want people to read that into this. What I'm saying, and this light is real fucking bright, is that these people who have never done this should quit giving advice to people who have to work these jobs in order to afford basic necessities. If you're a person who gets paid for doing barely fucking anything on the internet, and you have your nails done, and you have a Ferrari, and you have an OnlyFans, and for some reason people are willing to pay to see your pornography, I swear to God, if you pay for pornography, you're the stupid fucking person on earth. I, I don't give a fuck. But anyways. Um, but it frustrates me that these people feel that they should give advice to normal people. Um, if you are one of these people and you come across this video, I'm not trying to insult you. I realize that there are things that are difficult about your day-to-day -day basis. Especially if you're famous and you go out in public and people harass you. Or if... You have to post, like, 20 fucking videos in two days because a product says if you don't, they're going to re relinquish your contract, you know, and you're not going to be able to pay your bills that month. Okay, I completely fucking understand those things can happen. But you, as a content creator, as an influencer, as a person who makes this thousands of dollars, okay, I'm going to give you what I make. A kind of around what I make, okay? Because I think most people probably make what I make or a little more, a little less. Um, I make like 600 something, 700 something a check, and that's after two weeks of working my fucking ass off, okay? Some people make more, some people make less. But usually, whatever you make, if you're working a normal fucking job, it's based on where you live. And based on where you live, and what you're willing to compromise and sacrifice, that's what you can afford. There are people that make more than me that have a smaller living space than me because they live in an apartment, because they live in a city and they have no choice. I make less and I have an entire trailer because I live in a slightly rural, towny type area and it's, things are not as pricey. And I have a little bit more of a choice. But even so, people who work in the real fucking world don't have this fantasy land of, I can wake up at noon and post a video on YouTube and I know all my bills are paid for the next three months. Assuming you live in a normal house in a normal city and have a normal car payment and, you know, a normal, you know. And, and here's the thing. I'm not knocking what you're doing. I think we all wish we could do that. And I wish I could be a YouTuber. Just because it looks like a fun job. Okay, It looks like a job that I would have way more fun at. But I know I'm not everybody's cup of tea. So I have a regular fucking job. You telling people to chase their dreams is like me telling someone who's a vegan what fucking foods to eat. I eat meat and I'm fat. You understand? My lane is in a completely different place than theirs. Your lane is in a completely different fucking place than mine. I'm so sick of people who are fucking wearing Balenciaga fucking shoes, carrying a Gucci fucking purse, 
and have their nails done with Swarovski crystals on them, looking at me and saying, You can do it! Chase your dreams! Follow your heart! You'll be happy forever! No. If I tried to go after my singing dream and wasn't realistic about it, and tried to, you know, put everything I have into my singing dream, for me, that would look like hopping in my Jeep and trying to drive to a big city and leaving everything behind because I know that here I'm probably not going to get noticed. And you know where that would get me? In most cases, homeless, living in a cardboard box or in my Jeep. And some people are artists that paint and draw and they are really fucking talented. But again, hard to make money off that. And there are other dreams that it's hard to fucking make money off of based on where you live if your opportunities are not there. Then comes the challenge of, can I afford to move to a city where this is more reputable? Because if I can't, there's no fucking point. If you are an influencer, please stop giving real, like, normal people advice. Now, if you have a friend of yours who's an influencer and they're kind of coming up the ranks and they're thinking about giving up because everyone else around them has 4 million followers and they only have 200,000, go give that fucking advice to them. Because that is something they could do. That is something that you could help them with. Because you know what you're talking about about that. The people that work these fucking hard-ass jobs have always done that. They've never had an easy little hop to fucking greatness to make all the fucking money. Most people that work their fucking ass off is because that's all they know how to fucking do. That's all their parents did when they were kids. That's all their great-grandparents did and their grandparents most people that are influencers either got lucky, and I'm being fucking honest, they had, they got lucky and had a sob story and people took off with that, or they have tremendous dedication and post video after video after video after video after content, 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 and they end up burnt out after a couple years. Or they get fucking lucky and their parents are already fucking rich. Kim Kardashian saying that people don't get off their ass and fucking work enough? I can't even insult her for not getting up off her ass because I don't even think that's her fucking ass anymore. It's not her ass, it's not her tits, it's not her face. How are you going to tell other people to get up off their ass when yours isn't even intact anymore for you to get up off of it? I'll give you a hint, Kim. Fucking some rapper on camera... And getting attention for that and having rich fucking parents and a dad who was a lawyer who was really fucking famous. And already being fucking wealthy. And having the notoriety of having a wealthy family and a well-known father. You have so many fucking advantages. You always had many advantages. So when you tell people that nobody gets off their ass anymore. That is why we laugh. And guess what? I kind of view it the same way. That's why I made the fucking comparison. I kind of view it the same way. There are influencers that I watch, that I like, that I enjoy their content. But it's usually the ones that realize the opportunity they have. Even if they've been doing it for years, they still stay humble. They still stay that person they were when they started, somewhere in their heart and in their head. They don't become this person that's like, look at me. And it, I don't know, it just fucking aggravates me when people that have a silver fucking spoon in their fucking hand feel the need to, you know, come over and, and try and relate to people. People watch you. People find you entertaining. People might find you attractive and watch you. Doesn't mean they care what you fucking think when it comes to real life. They might watch your videos about your try-on hauls because they want to know how clothing fits from a certain website. They might watch your makeup reviews because they want to know if something's going to make them break out and you have similar skin to them. But fucking otherwise than that, zip it. Because you, if you've never lived in that, in, in their realm and had that experience and gone to a fucking job that you hate because you have to be there because you need to pay bills or even a job you like 
but that takes all your time and energy just so you can pay your bills and sustain your life I don't want to hear you talk about it I really don't because I know not all influencers were always influencers some people would happen to them completely by fucking accident but for the most part y'all influencers are a bunch of idiots that got lucky and I don't mean idiot in a I hate you, and I think you're stupid kind of way. I mean dumb luck. I mean just, you made a video one day, and it went viral, and you kept that going somehow. And good for you. If anyone gets that opportunity, they should feel blessed, and that's great for them. Congrats. But if you've been doing that for years, and, you've, and you're, you were so young when it happened that you've never worked a real job, don't try and give advice to people who need real fucking advice. Because you don't have the perspective to give them that advice. And it irritates me when I see it. I just scroll past it. I want to believe in the inspiring, encouraging words. I want to be optimistic. I want to be happy. I want to believe that anything is possible. And I do believe anything's possible. Realistically, though, I know how unlikely it is. For most of us to get a call back if we go audition to be a singer or an actress or whatever to get clients if we're an artist to do the things that we really really want to do it is very very slim pickings out here but real jobs are a dime a dozen and these kids get hired oh i didn't like it quit i didn't like that one either quit i didn't like that one either quit Because they watch you influencers and expect their life to be easy peasy. So that's another reason why you shouldn't be giving advice. Because the people that really, really listen to your advice, although they are young and they will grow out of it, are getting frustrated with real life situations because they've been watching you and think that, oh, I'm the same age as so and so, and their life is like this, so my life's gonna be like this. All I have to do is believe. Because that's what they said. Shut up. I'm turning this camera off before I blind myself. That's why I haven't really been looking at it, because this is bright as fuck. Do you like my hair, by the way? I just stood up tonight. It's really bright. I only did the tips, though. 